That complaint you made, how do you feel about that now? The same. Sad it had to happen. You didn't say a shame. Your colleagues took a predator off the streets. Made the world, well, safer. And what do you do? You report them, and yet no shame. I find that pretty disgusting. Wait a minute, you can't say that. I'm off duty. This session finished two minutes ago. I spent two years searching, chasing every lead. The last one took us to Edinburgh. I went to every hostel, walked the streets. Nothing. Then the day I was due to come home, I was at the station waiting for the train and... They walked right past us. Lord is life. What? Well, what are the chances of that? But, well, was he all right? Was, it, was he sleeping rough? No. He got a job. A place to live. New life. Well, that's fantastic. Isn't it? He didn't want anything to do with this. This was both an act of significant criminal damage and sustained verbal abuse, culminating in physical assault. Indeed, nothing I have seen or heard suggests to me that were similar circumstances to arise, you would not respond in precisely the same reprehensible fashion. You have to use loose tea, not in the bag, and it has to stand for three minutes. Three minutes? He's a good lad for his mum, aren't you? Put it down, then. Grandad, what are you calling him that for? Daft. It's OK. Dotty. The tea, Shane. I'll, I'll take it. Shane? Shane? I'm not Shane, I'm Wes. You know that if you were really my grandma. 